stupid. You're not gonna get it through that tiny little hole. Bloody angers me. I don't need a hat. <laughs> Good morning! It's probably not even morning when you're watching this, but it's a new week. We're vlogging again. <laughs> and we've got some home renos happening. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, oh, but I will... I don't know what that was. I will just show you the fence, because I finished painting the fence. And it's awesome. Look at that, it's a fine specimen of a fence. It only took me about eight weeks to complete, but I did it. We just got to put our little pots back up, maybe. And yeah, it's looking good. So yeah, start of another week, DIY stuff going on, and we'll see what else the week brings. Right, let's go see what's happening. Hello, B. How are you this morning? You look very handsome. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, she always want to steal the attention from poor Bumblebee. Let's go see what Daddy's doing, shall we? So we're in the midst of having the bathroom done. Oh, oh I don't know if this means it's on the toilet. Can I come in? Yeah. Right, so we're having the bathroom done. This is how far we are currently. There will be a separate video on the channel about this whole makeover from start to finish and Simon yesterday went and bought this loft insulation and he is currently up in that tiny little hole there's a lot of noises coming from up there like yeah. Yeah. well while he's up there faffing about I thought I'd have a chat to you guys because I forgot to tell you all it's my birthday week Yeah. Pardon? Yeah, my birthday bag. So I always like to buy myself a birthday bag. And I found the one I was looking for on Vestiaire a week and a half ago. And I bought it straight away. I was like, I'm not losing this. Can't risk it. So bought it straight away. Waited a week. Kept going on to my vestiaire account and checking the status and it said it was in transit and then yesterday morning got an email saying the seller has decided it's no longer available when I thought it was in transit for a week and I know it's not vestiaire's fault it's the seller's fault stupid Sasha whatever your name is do I have to squeeze it now no, oh right Right, I'm currently sat in the floor in the office while Simon works up there and I'm taking myself off to Blue Water today to pick up a new light fitting for the landing and I'm also going to go to Ikea at Lakeside because we've got loads of stuff to pick up for the bathroom but I'm going on my own so it means I get to really enjoy Ikea and oh my god I'm so excited. I never look at the new in section on the Ikea website but I just have. <coughs> Thank you. Sorry. <coughs> Are you done? Okay. And I have gone into the decoration <laughs> section and look what I found. My favourite plant, which I can never buy in any garden centres anywhere around here. Look. Love the clock. Love that they're doing gold stuff now. Oh, it's killing me because I've forgotten where... <gasps> there it is! No, that's not it. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Overexcited. There it is! Look. It's a Monstera. Ah. Okay, I've got my list of stuff for Ikea and Lakeside and everywhere else. I thought I'd just show you what I'm wearing. Just the stripy top, Dr. Denim jeans, Gucci loafs, Gucci bag, Miss Soma necklace, and Ray-Bans. Put my earrings back in today as well. They're the ASOS little bubble hoops and the Miss Soma mix and match studs. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Taking myself off on a girls' day. Girls' day with myself. My favourite kind of girls' day. Um, right, yes. Off to Ikea right now because I haven't had the email from Marks and Sparks yet to say that my light fitting is at Blue Water. So I figure 
If I go Ikea first, I'm probably going to be in there for a good two hours. I love Ikea. It's one of my favourite places on this earth. And I know everyone else tends to hate Ikea, but I love it. I'm going to go and buy loads and loads of shit that we don't need. It really bloody angers me. Exit the roundabout onto your heron way. Shush! When people don't obey the arrows in the IKEA car park. Like one way this way and one way that way and yet they're coming up the other way and they start shaking their hands at me. I'm not the Burke going in the wrong direction, am I? Right, I'm here. Let's do this. Okay, let's get my little pencil and my little thing. Off we go. Okay, I found a round mirror and it is uh, 80 centimeters, but it's got this massive like lip bit on it. I don't know, that could work. What do we think? It's even good for like a little OOTD. Right, I found the chest of drawers we want and it's this new one by, well it's not by, it's called Hemnes. This is going to go in the bathroom so I can store, ooh, all my products and stuff in there. Right, I've got myself a trolley. So far the contents of my trolley is a new pack of scissors and a little black rat for the babies. All the lols. Oh, look at these. These are gold knives and forks, and I've just bloody bought some. Oh, they're so nice as well. Bugger it. 40 quid for anyone that's wondering. Right, I've just got to the bathroom section. Hello. Um, so I'm just going to have a little nosy round, to be honest. Just like to have a look at stuff. And now that Simon's not here, I get to actually have a look at things. This is like such a treat for me. Guys, I can't even deal. Look at these, they're so random and useless, but I love them. Look at this, look at this little setup. A leafy wall and a little chair. Living the dream. Cannot see the monster as anywhere. I'm getting very agitated. There we go. Oh, what the f are you having a laugh? Motherfuckers. Oh wait, there's more plants over there in the stock room. Do they have a monstera? I'm gonna go and have a look. Oh my god, I think I can see them. Oh my god, I can see them. They're up there. I'm gonna go. Just currently going into like a restricted area, but I'm pretty sure I have just seen the plants. And if they're there, I'm gonna go and ask them to get me one because I want them. Yeah, look, that's them. That's them, that's what I want. Right, I'm gonna go ask someone. So annoying. Hallelujah, it's in stock, it's in stock. Woo, now I don't even think I'm gonna be able to lift this, but I'm giving it, gonna give it a damn good go. I did it, I totally just squashed both of the Monstera plants, but I did it, look. We're a little one-sided, but let's go, let's go pay. Whoa, I'm a lot one-sided. Okay, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. <sighs> You're not actually gonna believe what happened, but basically the um, chest of drawers comes in two boxes. So I've gone to the till and just scanned it and it turns out I need to go and pick up the other box. <sighs> so I've just brought these back to the car and the girl said I can go and pick it up in a minute. Oh. Well, at least I can tell Jeff I had a workout this week. <laughs> right, box one of two and two of two and now in the car. I think that was a sort of 80% successful IKEA trip. I am very, very gutted about the mirror because I think that was a perfect mirror. But they do have some more coming in on Thursday, so I could make a quick IKEA run. Um, really happy about the Monstera plants though, so happy I got those. And I'm gonna go and just pick up all the other bits that are on my list and open a window because I am sweating. Ah, uh, it's warm and flat. Yeah. 
guess where I'm going. Honestly guys, life doesn't get much better than this. Look at that. Living the dream right now. Just me. Mm. And the colonel. Hi babies, look! Mummy got you something. I got you a rat. I'm just gonna cut this long label off it though with the new scissors, which ironically I need scissors to get into. Hmm. Oh, she's just literally gone absolutely batshit mental. Just left the rat in the middle of the bloody garden and gone mental now. Hey, Bella, bring the rat. Come on. Bring a new toy. Bring a new toy. Get it. She's not even interested there. Bumble's got it now. Where's he taking it? Oh, he's taking it in there. Have you taken it in there? Mummy's going to try and get it, do you? Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, uh. You're trying to get it. That's the camera. <laughs> Stupid. You're not going to get it through that tiny little hole. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? Bella, honestly, that's not going to work. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Just hauled everything in from the car and uh, picked up the light fitting from Blue Water. Got some stuff in there from H&M Homes. What do you think? Very good. <laughs> He's not impressed. Good morning, it's Wednesday. We're just waiting for the Tyler to arrive. Um, it's only 20 to eight, so he should probably be about another hour yet. Um, but I just thought I would show you where I have placed a few of my noobs from yesterday's home excursion. Over here, I have put one of the new Monstera plants in the gold pot thing. Pot thing, it's just a pot. Because I like greenery in the house and we were lacking greenery over there and now when I do stuff in the mirror, I'm in the way, but there will be some greenery in the background. Um, the chest of drawers is in there, so I'm gonna put those together today. Oh, and then over here, on the bar cart, this is where I decided to put the little clock. This is the current state of the office. It's like a garden center. So this is all the stuff for the bathroom. Um, so yesterday I bought this little tray from H&M. So I sprayed it black and then I've put the H&M conscious, um, no, excuse me, toiletry things on there. So it looks very chic. And then I've put these little plants in the pots from H&M Home. And yeah, that's it. Right, now the bedroom is not looking tidy. I need to make the bed this morning. They shouldn't be there. And then look at this. This literally makes me feel ill. Oh, that is a pile of clothes and receipts that are not organized. Oh, okay, need to tidy all this. It'll only take me a minute. No, you girls can't sit up there. Mummy's got to make the bed though. Do you understand? Yes, come on then. Oh no, that didn't mean what you thought it meant. It means get off the bed. That doesn't mean W word. Come on. Bella, you too, I've got to make the bed, sweetheart. So I am about to delve into the world of flat pack. I'm looking like a human marshmallow. Look at me, dressed head to toe in a rather fetching shade of baby pink. Jazzy. <laughs> How's it going? I've made this. This so is one that we made earlier? Yeah, I, no. I don't start weeing and all that. I made. Ikea made this one? No, I Ikea put the bits in a box. Ooh. Magic. Do you want to have a little break, watch some TV? No, we've got two drawers left to make. Are you sure? Your favourite programme's on? Are you watching Ballers? No, it's not. It's a film. One of your favourite film franchises. How many are there in the franchise? This is the fifth one. Fast and Furious. Nope. Saw? Nope. Sharknado. Sharknado. Dun 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 dun. Sharknado five. 
Has this got Tara Reid in it as well? It has Tara no, Reid in it as well? It's ridiculous, this program. It's absolute poppycock, to be quite frank. You love these films. I don't love these films. They are stupid, and each one gets more stupider than the next. Sharks in tornadoes. Ooh, it sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very realistic. I've got two more draws to make and I'm losing my concentration now. Because your favourite films are on. No, off you go. Ta-da! You right, like Bumblebee? Right, it's absolutely pissing it down outside. And now that I have finished my one task for the day, uh, the most important task, I'm now gonna go and get my nails done. I'm gonna try and get a mani and a pedi because I haven't had a pedicure in about two months. Grim, right? And my nails look vile from all the fence painting and DIY and stuff. So, see, I told you I was going to live in this biker jacket. It's literally my favourite thing on earth. Um, my favourite pendant and chain. I've got on uh, my Rails sweater, Dr. Denim jeans and ATP sandals. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun running around outside in these. Right, okay, nails are all done. I've had my toes done pink. And I've just come to Asda because I need to pick up some fabrics off there and some dog food. But I'm just about to show you what it's going to look like when I get out of the car because the Asda car park always floods. So it's a bloody good job I've got flip flops on. Okay. Because <laughs> I actually submerged. <laughs> Beans having a sulk because something happened to his foot and he was nibbling it all morning and he's nibbled off half of his pad on his foot. So we've had to go back to the doggy first aid kit and put a little bandage on. Bean, no, don't start on the other foot, just leave it. That's it, put your poorly paw over there. Oh, that's it, good boy. Oh, that's it, Beanie. Let's have a nap. Hey, guys. So it's now Sunday. Yesterday we spent finishing off the bathroom, so I thought I would do a little mirror chat here today because this is all done now. You might have already seen the bathroom makeover video. If not, I'll put a little eye above here. Um, but we're off out to Greenwich to have some lunch, um, kind of like a belated birthday lunch slash early dinner. So I just thought I would show you what I'm wearing in my new round mirror. So I've got some jazzy sunglasses on today actually. They are Ray-Ban rounds in the 50 mil size and they are like a metallic a mirrored pink with a gold frame. And then I have a loop. <laughs> A, um, like distressed ripped t-shirt on from H&M. This linen blazer is from the autograph collection at Marks and Spencers. Uh, the usual jewellery. ASOS jeans, these are the ones from the haul by the way. Um, a really old Kirk Geiger belt and unfortunately I can't pan down in this mirror. Epic fail. So I'm just gonna... Uh, there we go. Espadrilles or as my mum would call them espadoodles and this is what I'm wearing it's quite nice weather today oh which worries me because I wonder what Simon's wearing let's go and find him shall we where is he is he outside just come to check on what you're wearing because it's a nice day and I know how you like to dress summer this is relatively tame for you this is just a lot of navy isn't it Matchy matchy, great. Come on then, I'm hungry. Are you ready at last, eh? Yeah. I've been waiting for three hours. Come on. That's a lie, come three, on. Three hours. It was not three hours. You haven't even got a hat on, it's not even finished. I don't need a hat, only idiots need hats. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we're in Greenwich. This is the place we're trying. It's called Buffalo. And there used to be a place here called Desperados and it was our favourite place because they always used to give us free stuff. 
So we're gonna try this now. Okay, this is what I've ordered. I can't remember what it's called. What is it called? Chicken burger. Texan chicken burger, which is basically my usual. What have you got? Chicken burrito. Chicken burrito. And look, how awesome are these little glasses? I couldn't be bothered to ask one of the waitresses where they were from, so I've just spent about 20 minutes Googling and I have found where they're from. They're from this place called Tiki. Right, I've had a nice bath, feeling relaxed. Are you ready? Are you gonna have a face mask? Yeah. Come on then, come and choose which one you want. No, I want some enthusiasm. Right, this is the I face. I like peel off ones, so. This is the face mask draw. Right, well, all my expensive ones, none of them are peel off. Okay. So you might wanna have a look through these ones. Sarah got us these for Christmas. But none of them are peel off ones, are they? I'm sure they will be, because they're the ones that make peel off no. masks. No. Peel off. Passion peel off. Lucky there you go. Passion yeah. peel off. My lucky day put by the looks of it. Put them back properly though. That. Okay. Lovely jubbly. That wasn't properly, was it? I am going to have this one. This one is. Why is yours in a bottle? Because mine's more expensive. <laughs> Mine is the uh, Rodial or Rodial, I don't know how you pronounce it. Super acids hangover mm. mask. Go on then, you put yours on. We used to do this all the time and you used to really yeah, enjoy it. I don't remember it. how you do it, how do you just put it on. Yeah, you just put it on. I thought you liked the warming ones. I do. They're peeled off one. All I wanted to do was watch some athletics and that got roped into this. No, you can watch your athletics while you've got your face mask on. I just missed it. But you should, I just told you to put it on pause. I love Stop how you're rubbing you. it all in your oh. eyebrows as well. We've got to peel off them eyebrows. You may as well use all of it because you can't put them back in the drawer like that. I've just got syrup on my face now. Syrup? What does this one do? What is the qualities of this one? It makes do? me passionate. It's called Passion Peel Off. So you're in for an exciting night. No, it helps peel away any dead cells. Oh, dead skin. So it's going to be no amazing night. Let's have a look at how shiny you are. We've got someone in the table there. Oh, what? Oh! Peel it off quick because I was the paint on I made this. Three hours making this. I the idea made it. But... Yeah, shiny. you got to sit still now, so otherwise it won't set properly. Yep. Go and sit down and watch the athletics. Oh, we're not filming you do it, just me. Just making me look silly. You don't look silly. Lots of boyfriends do this. No, why is yours white? Because that's the sort that mine is. Mine is not a peel-off one. Yeah, I think now I could get different colour ones. Well... You had a whole drawer of options in the face mask. This one does tingle a bit though, but mm. I like it because it makes it feel like it's working. Tingly. I feel like you would like this one. It gets the crap out of your skin, is what this one does. You don't have to do that if you don't peel it off. It draws it out. How's it out? How does that work? It just does. Go on, tell us the science. I don't really uh, <laughs> Sucked into that marketing, eh? <laughs> hey, this stuff works. Should have done a before and after, shouldn't we? You've gone into the face mask as a 32 year old, you're going to come out as an 18 year old. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Go away! Are you checking on the progress? You've been waffling on for the last 10 minutes. You need to go sit down so that it sets. I just look all sweaty. Yes, you do. So go sit down. I'm going to sit here and let the face masks do their magic. Are you happy now you're watching the athletics? Yeah, very happy. Can't put my glasses on because I've got a peel off face mask on. <laughs> pretty much just blind. <laughs> so there's another 20 minutes I can't watch my programme for. <laughs> Dickhead. Is it See, idiot. <laughs> yeah, let's do a peel off one. That was your idea. Oh, yeah. Wow, but look how nice your skin mm. looks. I feel young again. Just peeled off all my tan. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure you'll be out there again tomorrow. <laughs> you do love to just sit in the garden, don't you? You can use some of my micellar water if you want. How much that cost for water? <laughs> I think it's about. Yeah, just water. I think it's about eleven pounds. It's not everyone, is it? 
No, it's not. Okay, it's not just water. Right guys, I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. I'm cleansed, bathed, groomed, conditioned to the max. There's fresh bedding on the bed, so I can't wait to get in bed. Um, on a slightly different note, that Zara haul that I promised you all, haul slash unboxing, is gonna be up on my channel this Sunday. So make sure you come back and check that one out to see what I've been buying. And vlog-wise, I will see you next week. Bye.